Hello, welcome to the Franco and Friends YouTube channel. My name is Mark, and on this channel, I share my experiences fathering a child on the autism spectrum. So today, I want to talk a little bit about family vacations, um, because recently, I was, my family and I went on a vacation, and I was sharing all kinds of pictures and you know videos from when from when we went on vacation. We had a great time, and I had a lot of parents reaching out to me. Um, really stressed out saying that they wish that they could go on vacation with their family, but they can't do it because their autistic, autistic child will not allow them to do it. They just, they can't do it, right? The child gets too stressed out and it just never happens. So I want to talk a little bit about the process that we went through to get to get to where we are now, right? Because it was not always like this, right? My son was not always this easygoing and just go with the flow type of kid. And realistically, he's still not. So this was a very strategic approach that we took, right? It was it was a process. Everything is always a process with usually we utilize a combination of visuals, social stories, um, amongst other things, right? But usually it's mainly visuals and social stories. So I want to talk about the process that we went through. So let's, um, I want to use a long time ago, we went to uh, Disney World, Florida, so I want to use, I'm going to use that as an example. So the way that we approached it was the first thing that we did was we gathered all kinds of resources about Disney world. So we got pictures of families having fun. And at the time, my son, Franco really liked Mickey Mouse. So what we did was we got all kinds of pictures of Mickey Mouse at Disney world. We got pictures of families having fun. Um, we asked around if any of of our family friends or family members have gone to Disney World recently, asked them for pictures, videos, whatever we had to, to really acclimate him and, and and see that it was fun and there was things that he would enjoy there, right? So we this is step one, getting all the information together, okay? This can be YouTube videos, whatever it is, okay? So that's step one. Step two is presenting these, the videos, the pictures, um, whatever it is, whatever you have, presenting it to your child. But the key is, at this point, you are not telling them that you're going on vacation. You're simply sharing pictures and videos about how fun it is, right? You're showing pictures and videos of families having a great time, kids having a great time, things that your child is currently interested in so that this is going to make your child want to go and see that it's a fun place, it's a safe place with his with his or her family, right? So that's step one. You're going to do this for as long as you need to do this, right? Every child is different, so you're going to have to distinguish, you know, how long you're going to need to do this for. Only you can tell. You're going to have to take the feedback from your child and then move to the next step when your child is ready. So the next step is going to be now you're going to talk about how fun would it be to go away with the whole family and go to Disney World. It would be so much fun. Wouldn't we have so much fun? We would all go together. We'd stay in a house or a hotel together. We'll all wake up together. We'll go to sleep together. We'll have a great time. We'll eat together. We'll go see Mickey Mouse. We'll go to Disney World. We're going to go on rides. We're going to see the characters. We're going to do all these fun things, right? You're not saying yet that you're going. You're just saying, you're, you're just throwing the idea out there right? And you're going to do this again, as long as you need to, to get a positive, to get positive feedback from your child. So every step, you're going to go until you receive positive feedback. Okay. And actually, you know what, before I go any further, um, I want to, you know, throw something out there. So you know, your child better than anybody, right? Because there's, there's, I mean, there's tons of different, tons of different children out there, right? All different types. But mainly for, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to talk about two types. So there's one type over here that does not want to know what's going to happen, right? So say if you're going to go on vacation, it wouldn't be in your best interest to tell your child, show them visuals, show all types of plans, what you're going to do, because maybe your child does not do good that way. Maybe your child needs to be surprised because if you tell your child what's going to happen, they're going to get so stressed out, so anxious that from now until the point of going away is going to be extremely difficult and stressful and it's going to be a struggle and then when the time comes your child might not even go right or you're going to have the child like mine that's way on this side that needs to know every step of the process they need to be familiar with everything is going to happen okay so if you so if you have the first type of child that doesn't want to know and would rather be surprised and would rather not be prepared then 
obviously we know what road you're going to take as far as that goes, right? But if you have a child like mine that wants to be prepared and wants to know everything, then this video is for you. Okay, so right now, we have gathered the information. We have presented the possibility of going away. And each step, again, you're going to do each step until you receive a positive feedback. Okay, once you get that positive feedback, you're going to move to the next step, which is we booked the trip. We're going to go. We're going in one month. It's going to be so much fun. You're going to start planning the activities, right? You're going to say on this day, we're going to Disney World. This day, we're going to the water park. Whatever family activities you're going to do, you're going to, you're going to show pictures of what you're going to do, all the rides, all the things you're going to do. You're going to continuously talk to your child about how fun it's going to be. Make them so familiar with it. They, they know everything about the place. They know everything you're going to do. Okay? So that's the next step. Now... You plan the trip. Now the next step is to prepare for the trip. So what does that mean? That means you need visuals. You need social stories about what is going to happen, right? Are you taking an airplane there? Are you flying? Are you driving, right? Because if you're taking an airplane, you're going to need visuals for that. So the first thing you do is you, we're going to pack all our luggage into the car or into a taxi or into an Uber. We're going to go to the airport. We're going to unload all our luggage then we're gonna at the airport we're gonna walk through the terminal we're gonna put our luggage they're gonna weigh it they're gonna put it on the um, conveyor belt or whatever whatever the process is right you're gonna break down every single step along the way everything okay so that way your child is not surprised they know every single thing that's gonna happen from the time that they wake up in that morning until the time you get to Florida you get to the hotel, you get to the house so that there is no surprises. I mean, obviously, sometimes there's some surprises, right? But for the most part, you're going to really familiarize them with the process of every step of the way. And, um, and that's it, right? This is really how we did it. And this is the literally the process that we went through to be able to go on vacation now. And let me throw something out there, right? Because it's not all perfect go with the flow and he, he goes anywhere that's not that's still not the case we still don't fly anywhere right we went to disney world we drove to disney world so sometimes you gotta you have to know your child's limits you have to know their sensory needs what do they need what are their limits what you know what i mean you gotta know as the parent right so you gotta respect their sensory needs you have to that's very very important you never want to push them too far outside of their comfort zone right sometimes you have to give them a little push like everybody else but if it's sensory related, then you don't really want to push the boundaries when it's sensory related. But um, so I hope that makes sense because I know I'm kind of all over the place in this video. I don't really use any um, notes. I don't edit my videos. So I hope that really helps you guys out. Um, try it out. And, and I really think this is going to be beneficial for you. And if you've made it this far and you like the video, you like the content, please like and subscribe. And I appreciate you guys, and I'm going to be coming at you with a video every day. So take care, and I will see you tomorrow. Have the best day ever.